Now that you know why people commit fraud and the fraud warning signs, Anna explains the actions that should be taken to prevent fraud. While fraud can never be fully prevented, you can reduce the probability of fraud occurring. I've learned a lot during my time in the corporate fraud department. However, I won't become a fraud investigator in my three months with you. What can I do? You don't need to be a fraud investigator. All employees can help prevent fraud. Can you give me some examples? Sure. Establishing a code of ethics is a good start. Research has shown that reminding people to be ethical near in time to an opportunity to commit fraud reduces the likelihood of the fraud being committed. So maybe I could get people to sign a code of ethics every year. Good idea. You could also establish a risk register. Right. So when an operational buyer spots a lack of separation of duties, like when Karen was responsible for supplier selection, creation of new suppliers in the system, and confirming receipt of deliveries, they could add it to the register. That's right. Then you need to ensure actions are put in place to reduce the risk, like by establishing procedures that don't allow one person to do all three.